Okay, this is a little trick we used to do when I was a kid. I never really understood why it worked. But what we're doing is we're heating up a uh, one gallon metal container that has about an inch of water in the bottom. After it has run some steam out, we go ahead and we're come along, gonna come along and take the heat off of it and put a cap on it. Now that's going to mean inside there, there's only steam and water. Now it's going to almost immediately begin cooling and that water is going to start condensing. And as it condenses and goes back to water, it takes up a lot less space than it did before. Uh, water, when it turns to steam, uh, is about 1200 times the volume as it is as water. So as this water starts to uh, condense, we're going to see the uh, pressure get smaller, uh, less and less inside this container. And if you look, you'll start to see this thing start to collapse. It's not actually collapsing because uh, of a vacuum inside is uh, collapsing because of the pressure outside. Pressure around us at sea level is about 15 pounds per square inch. That means you have to add up all the square inches. As you watch this thing, it slowly starts to crumble and suck in. It's what we call a saturated mix inside. That's where you have one type of uh, substance, usually a liquid or gas, and it's part liquid and it's part gas. It's both in the same container. And they're going to go to their saturated temperature pressure. And that's what is actually happening with this thing. We're taking up a lot less space uh, than we were when the uh, steam was coming off, which it was over 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And we pretty much crumbled this, uh, this can. Probably not good for much anything anymore. But cute little demonstration of saturated mixes.